This is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is sort of a neutral plate system revisited. This is not, I do not have neutral plates here. What I've done, I had received an email talking about a neutral plate system about the same size as this and how much hydrogen was being come up from there. And there were six amps used there. Look at this. This is 1.30 amps. And you can see it's not too much hydrogen coming up. But what I'm going to do is keep increasing the hydrogen until I get to 6 amps. And you're going to see that it's going to be more coming from the Aaron cell than is actually coming from the neutral plate, or at least the same. Also, the vessel or the tube that, was, that he was using was much smaller now over because it was one of those water filter bottles. I'm just putting more hide, more lye in here. What I'm going to do is step this up each time and show you what happens as we add more lye, and you, you'll be able to see the amperage. It's all a mirror game, and you have to really be careful. It's the amperage, and the amperage is, uh, the more lie you put into it, the more amperage is going to be there. Also, the smaller the tube, the closer the unit, uh, it looks like there's more action. You saw the first action that was there. You can replay it. That was very, very little amperage. I just added some more lie to it, and... Uh, I will show you something interesting here that's going on. The reason I'm still trained on this, you look really carefully, you're going to see bubbles coming up from the top. The voltage that you see there on the right is across the battery, not across the plates. There's absolutely no voltage on the plates whatsoever now. But suddenly I'm looking, and you're seeing a lot of production here as far as a zero zero goes. There's no voltage across the plates. What you see here is actually being produced. This is not what's left over. This is actually being produced by the plates with no voltage across it as per se, meaning we're not hooked up to the battery at all. This is being produced by the potential or the, you could call it capacitance of the plates still holding on to the charge. That 1223 is, again, the battery voltage. It is not hooked across the cell. This is an Aaron cell. It's got four plates in it. And they're hooked alternately. Remember, there's no voltage on this at all. This is just the capacitance, if you will. And uh, this caught my eye just before I started to add the power. You can see this is actually producing. The interesting question would be, if we had a huge plate, how much hydrogen we'd be producing? Just another question. Again, this is being produced without any battery. This is just difference in potential of the two plates or capacitance, if you will. One of those plates is more negative or more positive than the other. There's no voltage across the plate right now at all. This is strictly what's left over after I disconnected the battery. It's just an interesting thing. This is nothing to get excited about. So what this experiment's about is I'm going to show you how much hydrogen you can produce without using a neutral plate. I'm not using any neutral plates. I looked at the other example, and it did look like it was producing a lot of hydrogen using neutral plates. but I'm going to show you that once we bring the amperage level up to what 
the other person was using, you're going to see a lot of hydrogen come out here. And we can even make it more. The trick is keeping the amperage down. So I've just this is the second time I've added fly into it. You saw the first time we had a very, very little amount in. And we, the amperage was low and the output was low. We just added a second few grains in there. And now we're going to put battery across it again. And you're going to see a little more explosion. And we're at, let it come down here, we're at uh, 3, between 3, let's say 4 amps. The other was at 6, and I'm not even going to let this go. You can see how much hydrogen is being produced. And if this was a smaller jar, if you will, the whole sides would be clouded up with hydrogen. So what I'm going to do now is add some more lie in there and bring it up to around 6 amps. That isn't a spoon, by the way. That's a, a thin piece of plastic. I just have very little bit of lie in there. I usually use a spoon, but uh, you use such a little amount of lye that uh, the plastic seems to even be better. Incidentally, I, you can buy that whole cup of lye for like two or three bucks or less. I don't remember. I don't give brand names on the air for a reason. Okay, what we're going to do is turn this on again and I'm going to show you just how much hydrogen gets produced. We should be around six. Flashes up to ten and then comes down to we got seven, two, three. Now look how much hydrogen is being produced. Again, this is a lot of water in here. This is more than the amount of water that's in the filter that the other people were using. The reason I disconnected it so fast is it's really putting out a lot of hydrogen. I can't afford to have the whole lab filled with it. But I think that pretty well demonstrates it. If you keep looking at it and comparing, you're going to note, as I've said before, and this is just my belief, the neutral plate system is not, not correct. I can duplicate it here. 